How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it is time for the Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke Revenge. Oh yeah, that's right, this is gonna be pretty crazy. Oh man, so before we start, I want to tell you guys about the rules that I'll be playing with. I have notifications disabled, I'll get to those in just a moment, so we won't be... Uh, bombarded by a bunch of stuff. We'll have plenty of time during the opening tutorial madness to go over that. I won't miss any, don't worry. Um, so, here is the deal with the Sun Nuzlocke Revenge. I did post a teaser over on my YouTube channel, kind of showing all the fights in the Sun Nuzlocke. This isn't a continuation of the Sun Nuzlocke. This is from scratch, but my goal is to get revenge on the series that beat me. I feel like that is really important, but I'm going to do it with even more difficult rules now that I've played Sun and Moon a few times. Now, before you guys say, wait, what about Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? Why aren't you doing that? Why are you playing the original one? Because I want my revenge on the original ones. Also, I don't want to have the uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Nuzlocke or Wedlock or whatever it ends up being. It's not going to debut on Twitch. This is a Twitch archive. If you're watching on YouTube, I will be posting this as an archive series, similar to my Pearl Wedlock and the White Nuzlocke and all that. So that'll be kind of neat. Um, so th it'll be split up into like hour long segments. I'll just do whatever I can in that hour. We'll see what we can accomplish. It'll be three hours per stream, and my goal is to stream every Friday and every Tuesday. So, yeah. All right, what about the rules? So, I will be playing on set. That's really important. I don't get a free switch out whenever I'm fighting a trainer Pokemon. I think that's uh, or a trainer's Pokemon. I think that's kind of important there. So, that's a big one. The other thing is one item per Pokemon per battle. I feel like that will definitely make it a lot more challenging than just being able to use whatever I want. So yeah, <laughs> that'll be interesting, especially for some of those tough fights. Another thing, no Pokemon refresh. We're not having none of that. Not at all, unless we need it for uh, Eevee, if we want to evolve into uh, Sylveon. That is fine, but we'll only do two hearts which doesn't give you any other effect other than boosted experience, so it's not that bad. The experience share is allowed, but there's a level limit imposed, so that's fine. Another really big important one, Z-moves, all right? I will be allowing Z-moves, but no damaging Z-moves. I think that actually makes it really interesting because it gives Z-moves a really interesting use. There's a lot that you wouldn't even think of, and you have to kind of research on what they do. And I found that playing that way was actually a lot of fun. So we will be playing with Z moves, but no damaging Z. So we don't have that auto nuke. So I think that'll be pretty cool. Now, the other thing is, this is revenge. We might not get this in the first go. These are difficult rules. This is a fairly challenging game to do a Nuzlocke on. There are a lot of very powerful Pokemon <laughs> to run into. So if I wipe, then I will have the decision whether to continue that particular revenge, as I'll call it, and you know see what I can do with that. Or I will also have the option of just starting over entirely. It might take a few runs. I will keep this series going until I beat the game though. That is my goal, but if I wipe, and if I decide to start a new game, I cannot use any Pokemon that I used or caught in the previous challenge. So, for instance, if, let's say, I have a Rowlet and a Pichu in this run, and then I lose. Well, I wouldn't have Rowlet. I'll get to that in a moment. Then, in my next run... Anytime that I run into any of those, they would automatically be ignored. I wouldn't be able to do anything with them. I could not count them as an encounter. Anything that I've gotten in a in the previous not the previous one, not a previous one, but the previous. So 
If I lose that next one, then I can use Rowlet and Pichu again. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. The last thing I should mention, there is no dupes claws. That's going to be really weird, but we'll keep that consistent with the white Nuzlocke. I think that'll make it kind of unique. <laughs> it's something I usually play with, but at least it kind of simplifies it. And yeah, so we might end up with some of the same Pokemon, but that's just how it goes. Now, any instance where I run into a Pokemon that I already used in a previous one, that will kind of be like dupes claws. It won't invalidate my encounter. Like I don't get nothing on the route. I just try again. So it'll kind of be like that, but not. Uh, the last thing is, yes, we will be using the pinwheel claws on route one. I've done a fair amount of testing. I think this is also really important for ultra sun and ultra moon. Whenever I get around to that route one is effectively three, even four routes in sun and moon and ultra sun and ultra moon in ultra sun and moon. It's the worst because you get your starter Pokemon on Route 1. So you're basically going to be stuck with one Pokemon until you get to uh, <laughs> to fight a starter that's weak, or that you're weak to. So, yeah. I think that, honestly, playing this way does give you a lot more variety early on. It means that, you know, you might actually have a chance against the Smeargle fight. I've done it before without that, but I do feel like it... It's more natural to have it like that. And it'll be consistent for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon if I do that later. So we will be allowing the Trainer School as a separate encounter and Route 1 Beach as a separate encounter. I will not be counting the place with Munchlax as a separate encounter, though. Kind of makes sense? All right, so I think we're all good. Thanks for sitting through all the rules. Hopefully that explains it to you. Also, there will be spoilers from the Sun Nuzlocke series. We are free to chat about that in the chat. You'll hear me talk about it throughout the series. If you haven't watched it, I'll just tell you, you know, you might want to go do that. But otherwise, I do have a video montage that is kind of showing you everything over there. That Like all the major boss fights you can watch is over on my YouTube channel, and that will get you caught up to speed. Like, if you don't want to watch the whole series, but you want to see how the things went, all the tough fights and all that, uh, yeah, that'll that's a great way to do that, except it has a song that loops for, like, 46 minutes, and it was done intentionally. <laughs> I think it makes it better. I'm sure I'll talk about that. Uh, yeah, so anyway... Oh, one thing I should also mention before we start. The previous rule, you know, the, the legacy clause or whatever, where I can't use... Pokemon I used in the last one. That does not apply for the Sun Nuzlocke. We're just going to start fresh with this, but yeah. Um, okay, anyway, let's go ahead and get this party started. What do you guys say? Okay, so we have tutorial mode. <laughs> oh man, we have a lot of tutorials to get through. We have a lot, so I am going to use this opportunity. Again, I'm not going to be reading stuff as much on the game because... I've done it in the Moon Adventure series. I've done it in the Sun Nuzlocke Adventure series. Kind of done it in uh, Ultra Moon. I've done it in a lot of different things. So if you're looking for a series that you can kind of have me reading everything to, this is not going to be that series. Uh, it just, it won't be. Uh, no, it won't. All right, let's see. So Pokemar damaging the bit boss for 200 points. I'm going to kind of go through all the notifications that I had turned off in the background. So we'll have those on the screen. So I can say thank you to everyone who's helping to support. Um, all right. Also, how's the sound sound? Oh, yeah, you know what? What should I play as? <laughs> this is rather important here. All right. Uh, Fallen Helix subscribing with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for that big service. Really do appreciate that. Pokemar damaging the bit boss with 50 damage. Very awesome. Sound is a little low and then a bit too loud. Okay, now I'm confused. Okay, I'll tell you what. We will alternate between the girl and the boy. I think that's fine. So I think we're going to play as the girl for right now. And I've already decided on a name. I've already decided on a name. We are going to name her... <laughs> I really like this. She is first. She's first, guys. Yep, ladies first. That's right. <laughs> yes. 
All right, so we have Ranger Katza subscribing with Twitch Prime for the second month in a row, saying good luck on the adventure. Harrow Brisby subscribing for the seventh month in a row, saying Z Splash hype. <laughs> yeah, but remember, if I wipe, then I can't use uh, I can't use what you call it, Magic Carp in the next challenge. So you know. All right, who's first? YouTube, who is first? Who is first? <laughs> Uh, Eclapricious subscribing for the second month in a row. Thank you so much for that big service. All right, let me go through some of the other ones that were uh, backlogged here. We have Kutazing718 subscribing for the 10th month in a row. Thank you so much for that big service. We have, oh, actually this is new. Fallen Helix with 1,000 bits saying, I'm back after being away for two months, started a new job and won't be able to catch all of the weekday streams, but I've got a lovely four day weekend. That's really wonderful. Thank you so much for all those bits. Holy smokes. Uh, this is also another new one. Krasla's Senpai subscribing. Thank you so much for that big service. Really do appreciate that. We have Cloud Runner Rex subscribing for the 10th month in a row saying, what a nice surprise to come back from the U.S. too. That's right, you had a nice trip over to the U.S., which is pretty sweet. Oh, this is another new one. Luvaltal ultra subscribing for 10 months in a row. Holy smoke, saying, go get that revenge for Yarrow and Rose, Maryland. Oh, yeah. I'll get my revenge for everyone, not just those two. They fought so hard. That was so, so emotional, I tell you. All right, we have Atelier19 subscribing for the fourth month in a row. Thank you so much for that big service. Really do appreciate that. And I think with that, I think we're caught up. I think, I think we got Fallen Helix, right? I think so. All right. <laughs> Chubby Tomagachi subscribing with Twitch Prime as well. Thank you so much for choosing me with your Twitch Prime sub. Really do appreciate that. In case you're not familiar, Twitch Prime is really nice. If you have an Amazon Prime account that gets you like two day shipping on stuff and you link it to your Twitch account, you can use that to get a free sub to any streamer that you want every month. The only thing is you have to renew it manually. It doesn't automatically renew, but still counts as a sub for the, uh, the streamer and everything. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool actually. Pretty darn cool. Uh, no, these are not the same rules as in the Sun Nuzlocke. We actually do have quite a bit different rules. Wow, rude Carol Brisby saying your mom is the laziest ever. So rude. <laughs> uh, I will not be going with Rowlet. In fact, we are going to exclude Rowlet from the, the pool because I don't want to use Rowlet again. Like, we've it would be nice to mix things up. Okay. I'm awake. Let's go. Yeah, that's the only thing. I don't want to reuse the starter. Although, I kind of do. Alright. I don't need to read this. I'm so glad I don't need to read this. <laughs> uh, we won't be able to use trainer ID very easily because you don't get your trainer ID until after getting your Pokemon. You could go to Pokemon Bank and do it, but that takes time. So what I think I'll do, I think I will... Hmm, I don't really know, to be honest. I might need some, some chat interaction here. I think we might do it that way. <laughs> uh, we need an emote. That's what we need. I think what we'll do when the time comes... I will type something out, and then whichever emote that I see of, there'll be like two options, and then whichever one that I see, I think we might do that, unless you guys have a better random method. Actually, I could make a script really fast in uh, Nightbot that could probably do it. Or I could just flip a coin, and you guys would be none the wiser. Oh yeah, you know what, I could probably just flip a coin. And just show it on screen, and then you guys could see. Alright, so yeah. Oh, it's so good not to, have to, not to have to read all this stuff. I hate reading it again. I really did want to get my revenge. In fact, 
I should probably tell you guys that I had originally kind of planned on doing a series, kind of like a revenge, and it I was going to do a moon wedlock, and that was kind of kind of interesting, but I didn't really know how I wanted to do it, and one thing I thought about doing was having it so the uh having it so like okay um it would just cut out a lot of fights like the trainer fights and stuff like that just kind of get you guys to the good stuff that you wanted to see but then i kind of realized that's not exactly my style that's not what you guys want that's not even what i want like i think that just kind of be there i guess so i feel like a stream is a great way to do it, because then I get to interact with you guys while playing. We're all in it together. Uh, it's a little less interesting on YouTube, I know, because, you know, I'm not reading the dialogue, but I've already done that. That's like my concern is reading it for the third time or the fourth time in a row. It gets boring, you know? I wish there were a way to just skip all this stuff in Sun and Moon, but there really, really isn't, and that's rather unfortunate. Uh, Loop Mail, Loop Mail just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for that big service. Really do appreciate that. Oh, yeah, I changed the options to set. That's a very good point. Yeah, but I just thought I'd kind of share that whole, uh, the moon wedlock story because, you know, that's something that I, I didn't ever post anywhere. And yeah, it's, it's just kind of cool. Like, I actually did record it. I wanted to record a fair amount of it in advance, just because I knew it would require a bit of editing. But I didn't ever do much. I made it to Totem Gumshoes. I think I beat Gumshoes. And that series is scrapped. Like, I'm not doing anything with it. But I figured, you know, I'd at least tell you guys about it, just so you knew. Uh, for the starter, the location is Iki Town. So it's basically just a freebie. Oh man, so how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are excited for this. I can see so much excitement in the chat and everything. It's always great to see. I have a few nice surprises, by the way, for the the layout. For instance, I'll show you really fast. Uh, one nice thing for those cutscenes we actually want to see and for the intros to boss fights. Whoa, big screen. And then I do have some special magic for boss fights, which you guys should be seeing fairly soon. So, hopefully I'll be able to get this going. Uh, you can spoil the Sun Nuzlocke series, but yes, please in the chat, do not spoil any other series, such as the White Nuzlocke or the Fire Red Wedlock. Talking about stuff in those, not really, uh, not really things that I like. Uh, 100 bits from Time Sorcerer. Saying, guess my seventh month resub notification didn't go through, so here's some bits. Revenge run hype. Let me double check on that. There were a lot that were coming in, and I don't see it, actually. Yeah, I don't see it. You might want to refresh just to see if that will show it for you. Uh, I would say... Wait, can you spoil the Sun Nuzlocke and the White Nuzlocke stream? Yeah, don't spoil this series in the White Nuzlocke stream. But the other is fairly old, so... We kind of have to get to the point that, yeah, <laughs> I lost that challenge. Spoilers. That's why I'm doing revenge. But I think that's, uh, that's fine. That was quite the challenge, you know? I look back on it, and there were points that made it a lot easier. But I still had a really hard time with it. So that's why I don't know how I'm gonna get past this. Hey, thank you so much, Lightning Plays, for the 10 bits saying, I'm making a prediction you're going to win and you're going to win and find a shiny in this adventure. Oh, nice. Yeah, I should mention right now, shiny claws, bonus encounter. So yeah, we do have that as an option. But I won't allow, uh, what do you call it? Oh, that's another thing I should probably mention as well. So, SOS encounters. I will count the first encounter, not the first Pokemon. That's slightly different than I did in the 
the original Sun Nuzlocke, but I think it is kind of nice. Um, so... As long as it's in the first encounter, especially since I'm not using Dupe's Claws. But yeah, we'll say that right now. All right, so are you ready for some cutscene? I think we're gonna show some cutscene. <laughs> what do you guys say? Let's do it. Ah, what's wrong? Help! Save Nebby! Oh, Nebby! Why are you being attacked by a bunch of birds? <laughs> Poor Nebby. All right, those sparrows are attacking it, but I'm too afraid to get out there. Uh, I feel like my, I feel like my legs might give out. Well, too bad to be you. <laughs> See ya. I always love doing that, to be honest. <laughs> it's just like, oh, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. She can't do anything herself. At least we don't have to fight a Spearow. All right, I'm going to go, what, punch the Spearow with my bare hands or something? No, don't you, don't you harm Nebby. No, oh, it's a Nebby explosion. Oh, <laughs> I'm having a bad day. Oh, I try to do the right thing. Always comes back to bite you, huh? Coco. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Oh no, first die, time to reset, I guess. Right? Pretty much. All right, let's see. Oh, thank goodness, you tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh my gosh, you know what happened last time you used it? Yeah, well, who cares? Debbie don't care. What, what is that? Dollars. <laughs> right, a sparkling stone, oh my gosh, here, I should probably give you this. Here. Who are you? Oh, you know, I'm just some runaway bandit. On the run. <laughs> all right, thank you for the sparkling stone. Don't tell anybody about this, all right? It's our little secret. Uh-huh. <laughs> the great Jeezy is subscribing with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for that big service. Um, where am I get attacked again? So we should probably run back to town. Yeah, we should probably do that. All right, let's do this. Oh, I should probably find a coin. Do I even have a coin over here? I do see a coin. I could go get a toonie if we wanted. That's a cool coin to flip, although I don't know which side is heads and tails. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go get a, a toonie in a moment. Canadian $2 coin. They're really cool. Hey, first, look like you missed a kahuna. Yeah, but you found my assistant. Mm-hmm. All right, looks like you already met, but just in case, this is my assistant. Oh, yeah, you called me, Lily. All right, we'll take good care of her. So you're one of the professor's acquaintances. Oh, my gosh, it's so nice to meet you. Kahuna's back. Kahuna Hall has returned. Yay. Tala. Um dee dum dee dum Oh, I just got a great deal of the all you can eat buffet. <laughs> I should not have eaten all those burritos, but they were really good. And it was an all you could eat buffet. All right, let's see. Sorry, Lily, what were you saying before? I was talking about my breakfast. Oh, uh, yes, Kahuna Hala, that's wonderful, but we got attacked, and, you know, there's this Tapu Coco thing. Oh, well, that's great and all, but let me tell you about this sale. Oh, that sounds like a good sale there. Oh, my, my. Kukui, it was a great sale. It was great. We gotta go there sometime, my man. All right, anyway, that's really wonderful that you almost died or something. But here, I'll tell you what. To make it up for you, let me give you one of these Pokemon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, first, we have this little cinnamon roll here, Rowlet. But you're not gonna be using Rowlet. Then we have this mean cat. Right, bite your finger. And then we have the little water dirt, Poplio. 
Okay, the moment of truth. So, which Pokemon will I choose as my partner? I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get a really cool coin. I'm going to flip that coin. It'll be like just 30 seconds if even. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back! Kinda. Almost. Alright, I got a toonie. Now, what would've really been great is if I could've gotten a, a quarter, a US quarter. Like, one of the Hawaii quarters, that would've been great. Okay, so, let me show you. This... Oh, that doesn't really show you anything, does it? <laughs> because it's all out of focus. So, uh... Well, you'll just have to take my word on it. Oh, there we go! Time Sorcerer is subscribing with Twitch Prime for the seventh month in a row, saying, looks like the refresh worked. I vote Poplio because as much as I love cats, seals need more love. Uh, yeah, so there is Queen Elizabeth on the front. I don't know how well you can see that, but there. And then we have a polar bear, I think, some kind of bear on the back. <laughs> I don't want to mess with the zoom or the focus. So how it's going to work, I'm going to flip this coin and then I'm going to hold it up while it's in my palm. Now, if it is, uh, we'll say if it's heads, it'll be Litten, and if it's tails, it'll be Poplio. Sound good? All right, so let's flip this. I will catch it in my hand, in my palm, and uh, we'll do it like that. All right, so heads, Litten, tails, we got Poplio. <laughs> I've never flipped the coin like this on stream, let's see. So, it's right here. My eyes are closed. So, right here. What do we got, chat? What do we got in the palm of my hand? That looks like it is Litten, isn't it? Right? Yeah, that looks like... Yep. Queen Elizabeth. Alright, so Litten it is. At least for this run. I'll try to have a randomized thing next time. So, like, I'll have a button on my layout that'll just flip a coin for me. I forgot to do that. <laughs> okay, anyway, we need a name for this this cat, right? Yes, we do. Oh, thanks Arcadia714 for the 40 bits. I just noticed that. Must have been while I was up. And away. All right, let's get some hype. Look at this mean cat. Look at this mean cat. Let's see if this little cat likes you or it's just gonna be really mean. <laughs> I don't even know. All right, Litten is staring at you with some curiosity. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I think flipping the coin is probably the best. Probably the best way of doing it. I was thinking like emotes, but I think that be slightly biased. All right, there we go. We got a cat. Oh my gosh. Oh, so little Litten has accepted you as well first. All right, in before shiny. <laughs> that would be ridiculous, right? Okay, let's give this thing a nickname. Female Litten. All right, I feel like I need to name her Sissy, but then she'd die and then I'd be really sad. So maybe we shouldn't do that. All right. I need some, uh, some thought in the chat, guys, for what we should name this, uh, this female starter. I don't ever get female starters on any stream or, uh, like, normal playthroughs, like streamer video playthroughs. It's so weird. I can't think of the first one that I've had. I know that I did on one of the Wonder Locks, I feel. I think X and Y. Think. Oh, man. Um. Sassy after the cat from Homeward Bound. I guess I could do that. Oh, so many names. Elizabeth would work, too.
But I wouldn't want anything bad to happen there. Uh, uh. No, so Faison and I didn't both have female starters in the Fire of the Leaf Green Sleep Lock. He had a female starter, but we did both have Squirtle. Ah, uh, Toonies. I guess I could call her Toonie. That's a good idea, because I did flip a coin for it. <laughs> uh, I kind of like that. I'll be honest. Huh. Alright. I need some Canadians here. Is it spelled with an IE or is it spelled with an EY? I don't really know. Um. like that. Alright, that sounds good. Alright, we'll name her Toonie. I like it. I think it works. We'll always remember. <laughs> okay, so we've got Toonie! The Litten. There we go. Look at that. In the style of the original Sun Nuzlocke and everything. Nice to meet you, Litten. Oh my gosh. Okay, great. Yeah, that's it. All right, here, I got a gift for you. Sweet, I got a Pokedex, and it's not annoying in this version. Nice. It actually really isn't. <laughs> All right, anyway. Oh, I got to go introduce my friend to my mom. All right, well, fine. So let's see, Toonie, what kind of nature are you? Quiet nature. Oh, she's so quiet. <laughs> That's actually all right. Okay, so you know what time it is, right? It's time to get out of here. That's what it is. Oh, actually, it's been such a long time since I've played this. Okay, let's do this. 200 bits from Arcadia, 714, saying she's tiny, she's toony, she's a little loony. Oh my gosh, it's this guy. You know what that means, everyone. You know what that means? It's boss time. Hey, you and me, let's have a Pokemon battle. Duh, where's the fire boy? What kind of Pokemon battle would that be where you don't even give a name first? Right? Wait, first? <laughs> what? Fair enough, then I'm how? My partner's Rowlet. Your Litten looks really cool too. Uh, thanks? Yeah, so let's battle. I couldn't wait for you to find your way over to Iki Town, so I've been looking all over for you. All right, let's do this. Oh yeah, your first battle already. Oh yeah. I appreciate you being willing to take on my grandson here. I guess he must have gotten back late from all the burritos. We'll see how that goes. All right, let's do this. You will battle me, right? I know you will, right? Yeah, and I won't lose. All right, this is gonna be great. Very well, then. Let the Pokemon battle begin. All right, time to fight Pokemon Trainer How. Whoops, that's the wrong one. Hey, there we go. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're fighting against Hal. How's it going? All right, anyway, let's take him out. <laughs> oh, man. All right, I think we can take him out. I think we can do it. I think. Yay! Toonie leveled up. Woo! Ah! All right, there we go. <laughs> I'll have to figure that out a little later. That's kind of a, a test run. Um. Anyway, wooey! That gave me chicken skin first, right? <laughs> yeah, first. Your was awesome. 
Now that settles it. I'm going all out tomorrow. Hmm? First. What? <laughs> Would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, let's see. Didn't see the original Sun Nuzlocke. What's the level limit based off of? Is it the Kahunas, the Totems, or both? It's kind of a hybrid between the two. So it's based on the first Kahuna of... Well, yeah, the first Kahuna of the first island. The second Totem of the second island. The second Kahuna. The second... Totem? Yeah, second totem of the third island. The kahuna of the third island. Then the kahuna of the fourth island. And then a little lower than the elite four. Or a little lower than the champion. Or you know what I mean by that. <laughs> That's kind of how it goes. Uh, Dark Starmie subscribing for the seventh month in a row saying, Hope you get your revenge on this game. Good luck. Yeah, it's kind of every two bosses. Not always, but it's a good general concept because otherwise the levels just like the limit just isn't quite enough for it to be meaningful like if someone sneaks ahead a little bit in one totem fight it's just a little harder <laughs> thought i skipped the sevi islands right i do have a quote command on twitch but right now it only has two quotes so we gotta fix that guys gotta fix that there is a clip button if you're watching on twitch and that's a great way to get some quotes and be awesome because you can make little uh i think like 10 to 60 second clips based on selling in the stream so that's a good way to i don't know just kind of highlight some of those funny moments but it's also a good way to get some great quotes too so if any of you know how to clip on twitch that can be a lot of fun Whoa, 500 bits from Crazy Lou Senpai saying, Hey, Marilyn, been watching you since the Platinum Adventure way back when and love your work. Good luck getting your revenge. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad you've been tuning in for such a long time. Platinum Adventure goes way back. Oh, man. <laughs> Add she means heck, kids, from the Fire Red Wedlock. Yeah, that one's pretty good. All right. Oh, I should also mention that the pick a peck here. I will not be counting that pick a peck. It's a forced encounter. Anything past there, I can get, but I will not be counting that. Okay, show me how to catch Pokemon. Little rock rough. Wow, I don't know how to do any of this stuff. Nice. Nail saying, watched your video since the Pokemon Diamond days. Thanks for being a part of my growing up experience. You definitely deserve this sub. Uh, messed up my subscription message. No worries. Well, thank you so much for that big service from earlier. That's awesome. Glad you've been watching for such a long time, too. Uh, yeah, the Pikachu blew up my TV line kind of works as well. I don't know, I need to come up with a system to get people to suggest quotes where I can keep track of it, and then just kind of like look it over and find ones that work. I can verify them. And just, you know, like tidy up their spelling and stuff. Thing. All right, yeah, the first Pokemon you can catch will always be Pick a Peck here. So that's why I'm not counting that as my encounter. This is Pick a Peck. I mean, unless it's shiny. But that'd be a little silly now, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, so this is the forced Pick a Peck. Does not count. Does not count. Whatever else does count, though. I'd like to go for Pichu, I think. But I have to go a little further for that. Oh, see, I have to get through here. All right. Let's do it. Oh, so far, so good. <laughs> oh, man. All right. If I can just get that, I'll be 
reasonably happy. I mean, I'll, I'll at least go for it. It doesn't really matter if I get it or not, but, you know, be cool. The only downside is then I wouldn't be able to use it in another revenge. Youngster Jimmy. <laughs> He's probably uh, Youngster Joey's little cousin or something. Because Youngster Joey in this decided to be a cheat. He got rid of his Rattata. Unfair. Whoa. Speaking of unfair. <laughs> Joey's a Lolan form. Like they ruined a perfectly good thing. Perfectly good thing. Oh well. It's alright. It's alright. I want to get my revenge. Hey, Keyfix SW with 15 bits saying, I want to support you too. Hope. This helps a bit. Good luck on getting your revenge. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm hoping I'll be able to. All right, Snowy saying, hey, Marilyn, I'm training for the Pokemon League in Platinum. My team are around mid 40s and 50s. Any help for training areas? Also love your videos. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. Um, I'd say that there's quite a few trainers over around Sunny Shore City, like off to the west. And they have- oh, I'm so used to there being that- <laughs> that rock rough there that I could play with. But it's not there. Uh... Yeah, let's just fight this guy. What happened to the black Nuzlocke? Uh, I think I mean the white Nuzlocke. Black Wedlock was a while back. White Nuzlocke is on every Wednesday and Saturday. Where I live right now, it's, uh, Friday. So every Friday and every uh, Tuesday, we'll be streaming this. And then every, let's see, Wednesday and Saturday, we'll be streaming the White Nuzlocke. I will be using the experience share because I am playing with a level limit. So it should be fine. I just can't go over that level limit. Otherwise, Pokemon that do have to be deposited until the limit increases. All right, Toonie, level seven. Okay, so... Let's see, what do I have here? Should I heal? I am kind of tempted to, just in case. I should have enough potions. All right, there we go. All right, my encounter for this part of Route 1. Again, just a reminder, if you're just tuning in now, I will get separate encounters on the beach. Okay, gum shoes. that's fine. I will get separate encounters on the beach, and I will get separate encounters on Trainer School. Wow, level 5. All right. I'm glad I healed. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I don't even need to do that. I can just throw the ball. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. All right, let's just do that. A gumdrop. Yay! We caught a young goose. All right, young goose, level five, female. Okay, so. We need a name for this thing. <laughs> I'd say detective, that's probably been overused. Oh, I don't care. Uh, all right, so. Seeing quite a bit of love for a gumdrop. Sure, you know what? I'm fine with that. All right, there we go. 
You got gumdrop. Cool. Alright. So that is my Northern Route 1 encounter. Yeah, we do not need a, a naming theme, to be honest. We're gonna have a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> the Metapod! Oh boy, am I glad I didn't get that thing. That would have been a little, uh, a little embarrassing, but you know what? I might as well switch out. Oh, Gumdrop has a Petra Berry, that's nice. Glad you like the layout. I have a few stories about this layout. <laughs> so I had to reprogram it, not entirely from scratch, but like my old system, I had to basically change that. And this is like redesigned from the bottom up. So it has little, little issues there, a few here and there. Like it refreshes every half second, but sometimes that might not be enough. But I don't know, I think it'll work out well over time. And it'll let me do a lot cooler things. It's great, because I like cool things. Oh yeah, there we go, I got Lick. Oh, I kind of want to get Gumdrop up one level. Thankfully we don't have Poplio, because that does make the fight against How a little bit more challenging. Um... I'm gonna hold on to this Petra Berry for later, to be honest. Okay. Should I just go in there? Take out Pichu. Yeah, I can just Ember everything. We should be fine. I'd rather just be done with this. All right. Oh yeah, that's scary, JMS Firestone. Afraid of the how fight, you have Lettybo and Poplio. Yeah, <laughs> that's a little scary, to say the least. Okay. So, let's do this. I'm ready. Oh, how's it first? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean I never make it? I'm first! Oh yeah, right on time! All right, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna party? Oh yeah, we gonna party. We gonna party. Okay, well I get a free heal, that's nice. All right, uh, yes. Back, let's go into big screen mode! Yay! And let's see if I won't mess it up this time. <laughs> oh, I tell you, some of the technical things. But I really wanted it to be a lot in the way of throwbacks to the Sun Nuzlocke series. All right, yes. First, I carry a watermelon. Oh, I can't wait to get clothes. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, Pokemon Trainer How. There we go, now I did it right. <laughs> All right. Okay, so. Let's see, I should just be able to use Ember against everything. Yep, you can go ahead and do that all you want. That's fine. I don't mind. Would have liked to have gotten Gumdrop a little bit of experience. You know, I might be able to switch out and then switch back in. I don't really see much of a threat. I think we're gonna do that. Because thankfully in this generation, experience is not split. You just get that full amount, so might as well.
There we go. Yeah, that wasn't even a problem. All right, we did it. And Toonie leveled up. Game sounds muffled, huh? Hmm. I might be able to fix that. I'm having an output through, uh, through the DS, or 3DS capture, so... Alright, we'll do, uh, we'll do a test in a moment. I can try to switch it over to, uh, the other capture. It should sound the same as for, um, whatchamacallit, the Sun... Sun's lock one. Oh yeah, that Streamlabs schedule thing on my Twitch panel, it doesn't really have any way to tie into Google Calendars or anything. So... I will update it eventually. I wouldn't really depend on it. It's been very unreliable. You can always just type exclamation mark schedule to find out when I'm streaming in the chat. Or if you're watching on YouTube, you can find it in the description. Okay, me too. I don't know what I'm saying that to, but you know, sure. I'm assuming they want to go get some food. It's like, yeah, me too. All right, let's see. Yep, I'm first. I'm back. I see you've cleaned up everything. No, you haven't. Good job, Mom. Or same. <laughs> same, I agree. Same. Okay, Mom, since you don't even want to get the door. All right. Oh, it's Lily! Hi, Lily. First! First! All right, give me some money. Like, she won't answer the door, but she'll go give me money. All right. I see how it is, Mom. Buying happiness. She's just trying to pay me off. I see how it is. All right. So. Yeah, you know what? I have an idea for something we can do. If you guys are all right with it, if you want me to, to fix the music, I think I might try something. Because this is with my 3DS capture. It had worked just fine in the past. But it is possible. Also, is it only when I'm talking? Because I'm not wearing headphones. And that might be some of it. Like, it's echoing. So let me know if that's the thing. And I'll just put some headphones on. Otherwise, I can plug this in. But we got a little bit of time. I'll be going on break in just a moment. So if I can fix this before the break, then that makes sense. All right, sounds fine to you. There's no echo. But you said it sounds kind of muffled. All right, so let me just do a quick test here. We are going to mute this. Uh, we're not gonna do anything else exciting if you're watching on YouTube, by the way. I'll just let you know right now. Uh, we are not, so should be fine. Um, okay, so might make a little static for a moment here. Okay. Uh, why is this? Oh, I know why. Because I don't have the volume on my... Okay. Does that sound any better? Oh, 
Hopefully it does. Up to 50, maybe? Much better, you say? Huh, all right, we'll go figure. All right, well, that was an easy fix. Cool. <laughs> all right, I'm glad you guys noticed. Thanks for helping me with that, by the way. Again, I had been outputting it via USB and just using the built-in capture thing, and I did kind of think it sounded a little off. So now it's just capturing from uh, line in. A lot louder. Hopefully not too loud. All right, well anyway, I think this is probably a good spot to take a break since we actually fixed that a lot faster than I thought. So, I will see you guys in just a few minutes if you're watching on Twitch and if you're watching on YouTube. Thanks for sticking around throughout the whole uh, testing thing. Yeah, all right, anyway, thank you guys for the feedback and I'll see you guys in just a few minutes.